Well, everybody, welcome back to another Zenith 750 Super Duty build. Today, I'm going to attach the lower strut fitting to the wing strut. Now, there's a little bit of a discrepancy in the plans, and I've talked to Roger at Zenith about it, and we've come up with a solution, and I'm gonna share all that information with you in this video. Well, let's look at what we have laying out here on the workbench. Obviously, we have the plans, we have both wing struts and one attached fitting. All right, the discrepancy is between the 108 and the 20. You can see it's 108 millimeters from the end of the strut to what would be the end of the block inside the, the strut. And we have 20 millimeters from the hole to the end of the strut or the beginning of the strut. So I'll, I'll show you how these two numbers are kind of conflicting each other, but you can also see some of the other measurements here. We have this hole should be 12 mil millimeters from the end of the block. The first hole here should be 30 millimeters in. And you can see on my wing strut, I have all of those measurements laid out here. Here is 108 millimeters to the end of the block, 12 millimeters to this hole. You can see there's 30 millimeters here to this hole and then 33 to this one. And then also this center line here where all the bolts are is 57 millimeters from the leading edge of the strut back. All right, now let's take this lower strut attach fitting and we, if we put it in here until it goes back 108 millimeters, you can see how far it sticks out of the strut. That right away didn't really look correct to me. And if you measure this hole here or from the hole to the strut, it's a lot more than 20 millimeters. If we use this measurement and put the hole to the strut at 20 millimeters, that's where the attach fitting fits, which looks like where it should attach. Now, before I drilled any holes and ruined a strut, I just wanted to verify with Roger at Zenith Aircraft uh, which measurement is more important. So Roger emailed me back and he said, this is the more important measurement here. Make this flush right here so this would be 20 millimeters. And then what he said is make the first hole 30 millimeters in, and then this hole should still be 12 millimeters from the end of the, the block. But now remember the back of that block is somewhere up right here. So what I've done is I've remade the holes right on this strut in the correct spot to where as if this fitting is sitting flush like that, and then this is actually a lot easier. I didn't really need to make all of those marks on there. So I'll show you how I came up with these hole locations. First, let's take a quick step back. Before you even mark the holes, the first thing you're going to want to do is file and smooth out the end of the strut. Once you're done filing, go ahead and hit it with some 320 or 400 grit sandpaper and smooth it out. And I also like to smooth the very edges too. It slightly bevels them and just prevents having a sharp edge on there. You're also going to want to do the inside edge too to remove any burrs. Once you're done here, you'll have a nice, perfectly smooth end of your wing strut. All right, let's go ahead and mark 57 millimeters back from the leading edge of the strut. And I'll just use my Sharpie to put a little mark on the wing strut. Now, once I have my little mark on the strut for 57 millimeters, I'll use a square to draw a line on here. And this will be the line where all of the bolts or all of the holes will get drilled for the bolts. Now I want to mark the locations for the holes. And the first one we know is 30 millimeters from the end of the strut. So there's my mark at 30 millimeters. The easy way to mark the end of the block on the strut is just to put the block on the outside and trace a line. For the outer hole location, I will just measure the 12 millimeters from the end of the block. And again, mark another line on the outside of the wing strut. Now, the distance between those two bolts are about 79 millimeters. So I just measured a little less than 40 and put the center one. That's my three hole locations. I don't want to drill these holes by hand because I want them perfectly perpendicular. So I've put it on the drill press here and I'm stacking up wood on the other end. 
and I'll get it close and then I'll make the final adjustment with the drill press. So I'll put a level on the wing strut and then again I'll make the fine adjustments on the drill press until it is perfectly level. I have the wing strut leveled this way and I also want to make sure it is leveled this way when I drill the pilot hole. So I've done a couple of things here. The first thing I've done is laid some sandpaper on here because without the sandpaper on there, this wing strut was just sliding all over the place. Uh, the other thing I did was I put in my attach bracket just to put the level on here. Once I get this strut level, I don't wanna drill through both of these cause this can move around. I'll take this out and then drill the hole in the strut. But the way I level the strut is I have this little block here and I can slide that in and out this way, and the further in I push it, the more it's going to move that strut. So I just move that block in and out until I have it level. So you can see right there, it's pretty level. So what I would do next is take this off, I'll take this out, I'll hold the strut in position there, and then drill the first hole. All right, let me explain what I've done. I drilled the hole in the strut, then separately I drilled the hole in this uh, attach fitting, and then I put a Clico in it. And I have a center line drawn on this attach fitting. So what I did then was I drilled a hole in the strut and then looked through that hole to line up that center line. And then once I had the center line there, I drilled down through that hole, through uh, the strut, or the bottom strut attached fitting. So now I have these two holes drilled. I'll put a Clico in this hole, and then I'll just drill down through the strut and the attach fitting for the third hole. Well, I now have all three holes drilled, and what I'll do is I'll take these out one at a time and put it back on the drill press and drill all the way through to the other side. That way I'll be able to put a bolt straight, perpendicular through the strut, all the way through to the other side. It is done. You can see that I've drilled through both sides. So now I can open these up to a quarter inch and put the bolts in. And if we look back on our plans over here, we see right here that it's an AN422A, three of those that go through there. So an AN4 is a quarter inch bolt. So like I said, I will open each of these up to a quarter of an inch and this side is done. Well, I have the first one drilled to a quarter inch. So I have a bolt going through that hole and then I just need to do this one and this one. This is my quarter inch drill bit. I just go all the way through. Well, strut number one is done. There's all three bolts going through there. It looks nice. Now all I have to do is repeat the entire process for the other strut. Well, that is officially all I am doing in the hangar today. I've been in here too long and I really don't feel like working anymore. So I will do the other strut tomorrow. But if you are building any of the Zenith high wing airplanes, hopefully you got some tips out of this video and at least it shows you how somebody else attached the lower strut fittings. Now it's your turn to go do your own. <laughs>